now streaming on Tubi is The Joy of Painting from Bob Ross, painting sessions that educate and relax you at the same time. And here to discuss all things Bob Ross is Joan Kowalski. Joan, good morning. Hi, Jeff. Joan, I used to watch Bob Ross growing up, and he was the most relaxing, uh, calming experience. And now all the episodes are premiering on Tubi. I'm really excited about that because I can't paint. You know, I was one of those kids that could never draw, but I just love watching his skill. Definitely. And he used to say, you know, there are no straight lines or stick figures in nature, so you can paint. Now, there's an interesting fact I didn't know about Bob Ross. He painted three paintings for each show. He had three copies. That's right, three. He had one that he did right on set. He had another off to the side uh, that was took some time and we used um, to put in the instructional books and then a third one for doing the how-to photos that, you know, he would paint the painting and every few minutes uh, we would take a picture and then those became like the how-to photos in his instructional books. I guess in the end you had like 30,000 paintings. That's, that's a lot of paintings. Not quite that many. Bob did practice every day. Even when he was on television and he was famous, he still practiced every single day. And so there, yes, were a very lot of paintings. Um, but I think probably a lot of garbage men have them hanging on their walls at this point. I understand that Bob Ross used to donate his paintings to PBS charity auctions, and there's still plenty left to go around. We do. We've got a lot here, and we send them to different museums and galleries. The Smithsonian has a bunch. Uh, we've got a new Bob Ross Museum opening up later this year. We've donated a bunch to them. Um, you'll be able to stand right where Bob stood when he was, when he was taping his program, so that place is going to be very cool. And we also have sold a lot of or sent a lot of paintings to different galleries and museums overseas, like in Holland, Canada, and Sweden. So there's paintings out there to be seen, and, and we're, we're happy to do that. Now, Joan, did Bob Ross ever paint anything specifically for you? He did paint a painting for me. I, I had admired one of his particular paintings, and just recently when we were going through them all, he had written my name on the back of it to, um, you know, to give it to me, and actually tears, of course, but that's sort of how he was. He was just very kind. And I can remember admiring that painting. So he put my name on it. Now behind you, Joan, isn't that Bob Ross's Meadow Lake? Uh, what's the significance of that painting? The one that I have behind me is Meadow Lake. This is an early painting that Bob did, maybe in his second series. And I like to show it because first of all, it's a very standard Bob Ross scene. He loved Alaska. And this is apparently Alaska is so beautiful. It looks just like this. Um, and that's where he was stationed was when he was in the Air Force. So this is like an early work of his, and I like to show it because, you know, his technique sort of changed through the years, and it's fun to watch that progression. They got softer and more sophisticated um, as, as the years went by, but always with the absolute understanding that he was painting and teaching to a person that had never painted before but wanted to. Now, Joan, tell me the truth. I hear Bob Ross hated his perm haircut, but it was his trademark, so he wouldn't change it. <laughs> yes. He permed his hair because he thought he could save money and time on getting haircuts. And so, of course, we did the logo. We got all that, you know, his pictures on everything, and they, then he couldn't change it back to his flat hair. But you, there are pictures on the Internet of Bob with straight black hair parted on the side and it's a sight to behold <laughs> i know if you've painted at one time or another you've had a canvas probably that looks just like this my gosh i bet i've had a million of them what do you do with something like this normally normally we'd end up we end up just taking this canvases and putting it aside or washing it completely down and starting over is it true that Bob Ross could tape an entire 13 episodes in just two days? Yes, he would just pound them out. The people at the, at the television station had come to know him well enough, and it was just, he could do four or five paintings or episodes in a day, just one after the other. 
and all the, the staff knew exactly what he needed and when he needed it and so he was able to get it done in like three days and then go home and start work on the next series. Well, it must be exciting for you, the gatekeeper of all things Bob Ross, his episode streaming on Tubi. That is very exciting because what we're hearing is people want 24-7 Bob Ross in their lives, of course. And Tubi, it's free. They've already uploaded, I think, a third of the episodes today. Uh, and then they'll sort of rotate in the next ones and you'll have over 300 programs of Bob Ross that you can access for free. You can download the app on, on any device, I think, um, you know, or just your computer and there you, there you have it. You've got Bob Ross in your life for as much as you want. Your work is melancholy. I'm painting happy little trees. Call me Jackson Pollock because I splatter MC with the voice of Sue. So let's do this. I twist it up like your Rubik's Cube. I love how Bob Ross has just infiltrated pop culture. There's a great series on YouTube called Great Rap Battles of History, and it's Picasso versus Bob Ross, and it has over 40 million views. Is it just amazing? Those sort of parodies are just so precious. It's so cool. I, you know, I like to watch those things over and over again because every time you watch, there's something different. But obviously, Bob Ross wins, right? I think one of the greatest honors for Bob Ross, he's a pop Funko figure. It's really cool. Some of my friends have it. Yes, he's a pop Funko. He's a Chia pet. He's um, all kinds of things, anything that you could possibly want. Uh, we've got lots of merchandise out. Bob really would have loved that. He wanted to be a household character in your house, uh, somebody that you, you know, could call a friend. And the, the little stuffed babies and that sort of thing, he would have loved it. Well, Joan, thank you so much for discussing all things Bob Fosse, now streaming on Tubi. And when you have a chance, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. Yay, I can't wait. I will do that. Thanks, Jeff.